What's up you guys? Today we will be talking about IBM DB2 database. We will be creating an application in Node.js that will talk to IBM DB2 database for CRUD operations. Today we'll learn about what we will be building at the end of this tutorial, the architecture of this project, we will be configuring DB2 database in IBM Cloud, we'll run the Node.js CRUD applications and see the demo at the end. What we will be building is a CRUD UI that lets you add information about a house. It has a form with fields categorized by different disciplines of the house. You can also view and edit the existing data. The view page has a map based on the address provided on top of the page. It displays other information of the house in form of a nice UI. All the home information added can be viewed from the view page. The UI is built using AngularJS that talks to Node.js for CRUD operations to IBM DB2 database. Let's talk about the architecture of this project. IBM DB2 stores all the information coming from the UI. The Node.js backend application uses NodeDB2 driver to talk to the DB2 database. The Node.js application exposes an RESTful API that lets the UI interact with IBM DB2 database. The UI is built using AngularJS. The UI has a form to add and edit the house information. It also has a nicely designed page that visualizes saved home information. You can get more details about the architecture by going to the GitHub URL. Let's create the IBM DB2 warehouse service required by our application in IBM Cloud. Log in to cloud.ibm.com using your username and password. Once you're in, go to Catalog, search for DB2 in the search box, select DB2 warehouse. Once you get into this page, choose the entry plan by scrolling down and click create. Go to service credentials and create credentials to be used by the Node.js application. You can see that it has information like hostname, password, username, and port that can be used by the application. Let's go to DB2 console and explore. Click manage on the left navigation menu and click open console. Let's load the home sales data into DB2 warehouse so that it creates the necessary tables. Click the hamburger menu and click load. Click Browse File and choose the CSV file part of the repository. Click Next. Create a new table called Home Sales. Make sure the columns and data are valid and click Next. Once the data is loaded, you can go back to the hamburger menu, click Explore to make sure all the tables and data on it are valid. Next step is to create another table that is used by the application called home underscore address. Go to run SQL for hamburger menu, copy the create statement from the readme and execute the SQL statement. Let's now run our CRUD application. You can go to the repository by going to the link in the screen. The repository has a detailed readme with architecture diagram and step-by-step -step instructions on running the application. You can run it either locally using DB2 Docker image or IBM DB2 service in the cloud. Let's now clone the repository from the command line. Once the cloning is done, cd into the directory. Open the code in your favorite editor. I will be using Visual Studio Code to explore the code. Let's now explore the code. The API server is using Node.js. It uses IBM DB driver or SDK to connect to the IBM DB2 database. The backend server exposes APIs to create, update, and delete home information from the database. As you can see from the code, it has 
exposed APIs like get data, get unique data, update data entry, all these APIs talk to the database to store and retrieve information from the database. You will also be updating the environment file to update with credentials of the DB2 database. From the terminal, copy the env.sample file and rename it to .env and replace the values from the previously saved credentials that you got from creating DB2 service on IBM Cloud. Let's run the CRUD application. Go to the clone directory and run npm install. Also run yarn install since there are few yarn dependencies. Now you can start the server by running command node server.js in a terminal window. On a separate terminal, run ng server dash dash open to run the client side application which is written in AngularJS. Let's see the app demo. Open the browser and point to localhost at port 4200. It has a form to submit the data of the house. Let's add a new house information. You need to fill out few required information and click submit to save the data. You can see the existing data and the data that we have just saved by clicking view manage. You can click to view each of the data. The data has a map if there is an address associated with it and all the details about the particular house. You can go back to the view manage page, click some other home details, click view and you can see the details of the house again. Let's check out the data that has been saved to the DB2 database. Go to the DB2 database console and on the, on the run SQL editor, run the following command. And as you can see that the latest data with, I, with the maximum ID has been saved into the database with all the details that we have entered from the form. And it also displays all the existing data order by ID.